Hello, welcome to my newest creation, a flux gate generator. This is an unusual generator design. For those that don't know what one is, here is a self-explanatory image of one. Just kidding. In this animation, there are two magnets positioned in the stator, each with their north poles oriented upwards. As the rotor comes into alignment with the stator core, it completes a magnetic circuit. The moment this magnetic circuit is disrupted, alternating electrical current is produced in the pairs of coils. This sped up time lapse shows the assembly. The core is laser cut mild steel to help the magnetic flux path. I'm always striving to come up with unique designs. This one is more modular than most, but I think it comes together nicely. I actually have each coil pair wired in parallel to produce more current. I would take all of you out there to experiment with this platform to unlock its true potential. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. And I will produce kits that include the 3D printed and laser cut parts, as well as the hardware. All you would need to add is the magnets and wire, and of course the motor to spin it. Here, I've added a standard DC motor to spin the generator for testing purposes. The extruded aluminum frame not only gives it a super cool look, but also ensures robust strength. Consider this as a two-phase generator. I'll route each phase through a bridge rectifier and then connect both rectifiers in parallel. This setup shows just a single phase connected to the oscilloscope to display the AC waveform. The black power supply provides input power to the DC motor, which in turn spins the flux gate. The multimeter is connected to the output of the flux gate. Notably, the output is already higher than the input. Now, I have connected the flux gate through the rectifiers. Right off the bat, I'm getting significantly more voltage out than what's put in. As I increase the power input, the output voltage rises exponentially. Observe how the input current decreases when I short the flux gate. Now, let's check if there is any useful amperage. This amp meter is showing almost two and a half amps. It's important to note that as this happens, the input current goes down. Likewise, when I remove the short from the flux gate, the amps go back up. As I increase the input voltage, the speed of the DC motor correspondingly increases, which in turn produces greater effects. Keep an eye on the black input power supply and the output of the flux gate as shown on the multimeter. got two amps at 70 volts. Let's do the math. That gives us an output of 140 watts. However, this isn't an over-unity device because when a load is attached, the 
effect disappears. The challenge now is to figure out a way to extract the output energy under short circuit conditions. One potential solution could be using a transformer to work with the AC output. I'm interested in hearing any ideas you all might have. Please like and subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thanks.